Someone might object. How is it possible to create a seventh generation fighter jet when only the fifth generation exists? This is a really interesting question. In fact, the division into generations is a very subjective concept. The experts still don't have a consensus on what exactly makes them different. Technologies have already reached the point where they show such high results that it's very difficult to come up with something new. And even though experts have managed to come to the conclusion that the new generation should have a speed at least twice that of sound, have an advanced stealth system, and of course be armed with very powerful weapons, it still sounds vague. Actually, no one knows what these aircraft are like in reality, what they look like, and when they'll be released. We're only given lip service to technology, but with this information, we can understand what the 6th and 7th generation fighters will look like. To get an even better idea of what the new fighter will look like, you should take a look at this development. Boeing unveiled the first production T-7A Red Hawk, a new jet aircraft designed to train pilots of 5th and 6th generation fighters. 